people of the internet, my name is Johnny and we just got the biggest FNAF announcement of all time. We're gonna skip the intro and just go right into the news, but quickly do subscribe while you're still here. We're trying to get 100,000 subs before FNAF's 10 year anniversary in August, and speaking of that, let's talk about that. Because yesterday, the official FNAF Scott Games Twitter account run by a team of people managed by Scott said, Hello FNAF community! This year is FNAF's 10th anniversary on August 8th. There has been a lot of work happening behind the scenes to make it a very special event. There is going to be something big released each day from August 1st all the way through August 8th. Stay tuned for the full August release schedule dropping tomorrow, which by the time you're watching this video, that's freaking today, baby. Attached, they also include this really phenomenal artwork of Freddy Fazbear showing off some 10th anniversary celebratory cake. But that tweet is from yesterday, right? So today they revealed the official release schedule for the FNAF 10 year anniversary. Ooh, and oh boy, were they cooking. So let's just hop right into it. They tweeted out today, as promised, here is the planned August lineup. On the 1st of August, we will receive the full game release of My Pop Goes. That is a Pop Goes spin-off title, a part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. It released as an April Fool's game last year, however, it has since spawned into a larger release that on the 1st of August will be available on Steam. There have admittedly been a few more My Pop Goes updates that I've been meaning to put into some FNAF news videos, but Popco's updates are always so in-depth, so I usually just save them for another video, but I guess I'm biting the bullet with this one. But there is already a Steam page for my Popco's, which features a trailer, some brand new screenshots, a description. I'm going to leave that link down below, so if you do want to wishlist the game so you're there when it does release on August 1st, you can do that by following the link again in the description. But speaking of fanverse titles, the next day on the 2nd of August, we're going to get a demo of The Joy of Creation. This was previously titled The Joy of Creation, The Ignite collection. I've shown off plenty of TJOC gameplay and news and teasers and updates etc in FNAF news videos in the past. It is by far one of the most engaging and asked for topics in the FNAF news video so TJOC fans rejoice. This demo is going to feature the office level in the story mode version of the joy of creation. We've gotten plenty of gameplay in the past and also we just got a brand new trailer that I have not seen yet so let's press play on this brand new TJOC demo trailer. Here we go, and like I said, this is only the office demo. It's the only level inside this demo, the office. There it is right there, the titular office. We're zooming out from the monitors. Jump scare from Freddy, there we go. Look at us on the monitors, there's Bonnie as well. We've got one camera left. Looks like cheek on the ceiling. It's not looking good for us. And now, you, me, waking up. In the office, our night has only just begun, how unfortunate. But here we go, look at this. Anything in the darkness? Yep, there's Foxy! Look at that jump scare, man! And then the logo, the joy of creation. Absolutely love this logo. And it should have a release date. Yep, demo out. August 2nd of 2024 wishlist right now on Steam. Again, I'm gonna leave that link down below. Absolutely phenomenal trailer. I know T-Jock is one of the most anticipated FNAF titles, so the fact that we're finally getting a demo of it, super, super exciting. On August the 3rd, we have a VIP interactive novel, in parentheses, free. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this means. We do know that Scholastic is working on another series of books, that, uh, those being interactive novels. We've seen two of those so far the week before, which we're theorizing is going to be a story about the phone guy because the story the week before is about a FNAF security guard working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza the week before we get the job in FNAF 1. And in this interactive novel there's different choose your own adventure paths that you can take. There's like 25 different freaking endings. So there's the week before and then there's also volume 2 Return to the Pit which is basically another retelling of Into the Pit which we do have some Into the Pit game news going to talk about in a quick second. But that once again follows Oswald. It's another choose your own adventure in the format of the Into the Pit story. So I don't know if VIP is like the volume zero, like a sneak preview of the brand new interactive series. It does say it's free, so I'd assume it's gonna be released uh, like online so that everyone can access it, which is super generous on behalf of Scott and Scholastic. Not entirely sure it's gonna be interesting. I assume, once again, it's gonna be like a volume zero, like a sneak peek of the brand new interactive books. So we got that to look forward to. On August 4th, we have a announcement 
from Steel Wool Studios. This, I would assume, is going to be the announcement of Help Wanted 2 DLC. If I had to take a guess, I'd assume it's going to be DLC. I think it's a bit too soon to announce a brand new game like Carnival or Security Breach 2. I do think it's just going to be Help Wanted 2 DLC, which I'm not complaining about. I am stoked for more Help Wanted 2. Also, keep in mind, before that announcement from Steel Wool on the 4th of August, we have the flat mode version of Help Wanted 2. So that is going to be the perfect time for brand new fans to experience Help Wanted 2 players that don't have a VR headset. So they can play the game, they can get hooked on the game, then they announce DLC, boom, just more players to have play the DLC for Help Wanted 2. We've already speculated enough about the Help Wanted 2 DLC, so I'm going to move on to the next topic, which is very, very interesting. Because on the 5th of August, we have a brand new Scott Cawthon interview with Daco. I think we all knew this was coming. It was just too perfect to have a 10th anniversary and then Daco announced the revival of the FNAF show. I think we all knew a brand new Scott interview was going to happen. Keep in mind, it has been since 2018 since that first Scott interview with Daco after he beat 50-20. So that was for the fourth year anniversary. That means it's been six years. So again, 10th anniversary, perfect, perfect time to have a brand new interview with Scott. There's a lot to talk about now. With the movie, brand new studios, developing games, you know, brand new books. There's a whole bunch to talk about. It's going to be super, super exciting. The last interview was pretty chill, which I wouldn't be upset if this brand new interview was just mostly chill, asking Scott some questions about working on the previous FNAF games and, and probably the movie as well. But there were, at the end of that first interview, tiny little teases of brand new stuff like the VR game as well as the movie. So I do think this brand new interview probably won't give us like a big drop of news, but I think Scott's going to have a few teases, you know, but moving on now to August 6th, which I think is, I know I said it for the last one. This is probably the most interesting reveal, which is a mysterious collaboration announcement for years. FNAF fans have been asking for Freddy Fazbear in Fortnite or Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. And it seems like August 6th, we might actually get a brand new collaboration with another game. Just recently, this is kind of spoiling some future FNAF news video probably, but just recently we got our very first look at FNAF in Funko Fusion, which is like the first proper game collaboration crossover that FNAF has had. So it does seem like Scott has kind of relaxed a bit with FNAF getting involved in other, you know, video games and other IPs, which again is super exciting because for years people have been asking Freddy Fazbear and Fortnite wielding a gun which I know Scott's probably against, but I don't know. He's got a gun, a Freddy Fazbear oven gun in Funko Fusion. Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. How terrifying would that be? It is worth mentioning that Fortnite does have an update scheduled for the 6th of August, the same day as this collab announcement. We might actually finally get FNAF in Fortnite, which I know a lot of people might be upset about. Me personally, as an avid Fortnite player, I've been dreaming of this day. Even if you despise Fortnite, you got to admit there is a massive, massive audience for Fortnite, a massive audience for FNAF in Fortnite. And even if you'd rather have like Springtrap in Dead by Daylight or some other game collaboration, if the Fortnite crossover, again, assuming this is all the Fortnite collaboration, if that does well and it's well received, Scott's going to see that and be like, hmm, maybe we can add Springtrap to Dead by Daylight since fans love the last crossover. Maybe we can add this character to this game and do a whole bunch more game collaborations. So even if you're not keen on FNAF coming to Fortnite, you gotta admit it is a massive step forward for the franchise and ultimately could be extremely beneficial for other game crossovers. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts? Do you think FNAF announcing a game collaboration and Fortnite dropping an update on the same day actually means something? Or do you think it's just one big coincidence? Moving on now to August 7th, the day before the 10 year anniversary, we have five laps at Freddy's by Click Team, a demo. So on the 7th of August, we're getting a demo of a brand new FNAF game developed by Click Team called Five Laps at Freddy's. Click Team has been teasing a lot of projects, and honestly, it seems like they have multiple FNAF projects in the works right now, with at least one being developed in Click Team, at least one being developed in Unreal Engine. And with how many teasers they've shown off, it's really unclear which of those teasers is related to five laps at Freddy's, you know? When I hear laps, my mind immediately goes to like a kart racing, like a Mario Kart. And honestly, that sounds pretty perfect, right? Just a nice little spin-off, like go-kart racing with FNAF characters. There's so many characters you can pick from. And Funko's already made some go-karts. 
Just reuse these things, it's perfect. That's really all I can think about right now. I'm sure Click Team's gonna release some more teasers of this game before its demo release on the 7th of August. So I'd love to know what do you think Five Laps at Freddy's is? Do you think there's gonna be more Click Team projects in the future? Because again, it seems like they're working on multiple games. And finally, for August 8th, the 10 year anniversary of FNAF, I think we all saw this coming, but FNAF Into the Pit by Mega Cat Studios will officially be released on the 10 year anniversary on the 8th of August. We already knew from Scott in the past that Into the Pit was a 10 year anniversary game so it makes sense that it's going to be released on the actual 10 year anniversary. The game looks absolutely phenomenal. Unfortunately, we did have the Jeff's Pizza ARG website get delayed and I'm sure that was going to have at least a teaser, maybe not a full reveal for the release date, but I do think it would have corresponded to this schedule release. So it'd be interesting to know if they're going to keep working on the Jeff's Pizza website or if since the release date is already out, they're just going to drop that, you know? But I am super, super excited for Into the Pit. Honestly, all of these announcements announcements have me super super excited they're really touching like every corner of FNAF we're getting like four different games released technically we're getting a free book another announcement from Steel Wool which will most likely be some sort of video game announcement an interview with Scott some mysterious collaboration as well as most likely some FNAF 2 movie updates with the FNAF Scott Games Twitter account ending off by saying the list may change as the time gets closer but regardless of what the final schedule ends up being it will be a fun August you betcha it will be so I'd love to know what do you think about this list honestly I think this is pretty perfect there's not much I would change about this list i really don't think i'd change anything actually again whole bunch of game news probably some movie updates a scott interview a mysterious collaboration like there is so so much to look forward to absolutely incredible schedule you know we got revealed to us absolutely insane i'd love to know what are you most looking forward to is there anything you were kind of hoping we would get revealed that isn't actually on this list and like they said the list may change so maybe we get something added maybe we might get something removed i'm not entirely sure but again phenomenal list scott and and the whole rest of the fnaf team you might think i'm sweating because it's currently 100 degrees well i've got these big bright lights shining on me as i'm recording no, I'm sweating because of the amount of videos I'm going to have to make in August. But again, that's everything we got to look forward to. It's going to be a crazy, crazy month. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these announcements when they actually happen. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Crazy time to be a FNAF fan.